I think it's going to be a great tool. You may not notice it, but right now, New Hampshire State Police Trooper Nicole Stone is wearing the agency's newest body camera. There's a mount on the back of it. It looks just like a cell phone and there's a mount on the inside of our uniform. It clips right into the inside and we zip it up. So we're able to switch it from uniform to uniform and then into a jacket as well. The cameras are activated through a series of prompts. One of the ways is you just tap three times on your chest. So it's one, two, three. Recording. It's on. And then we actually have a key fob. Recording discarded. And you can shut it off that way. You can also turn it on using the key fob as well. Recording. The cameras also turn on any time a trooper removes their firearm from their holster. So if we uh, go to draw our firearm. Recording. Cruisers are carrying cameras as well. If I flip my blue lights on, that'll begin a recording here. The cruiser dash cams are front facing. There's another one recording the back seat. Along with the flashing blue lights, a serious impact to the vehicle will also activate the cameras. Making a car stop, I put the vehicle in park. As soon as I pop my driver door to get out, recording. it automatically triggers the body-worn camera. Collected video is stored on a DVR in the cruiser as well as a secured cloud. I think the more you know about an interaction between an officer and a member of the public, the better it is for the officer and, and the public. And now, by law, a police officer has to notify the public of the cameras during any interaction. Also today, the executive council approved nearly $720,000 to purchase both body cameras and dashboard cameras for 29 local police departments. Reporting live in Concord, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.